what is sizzling people welcome to my channel my name is chris uh this is actually my first youtube video so please be nice um we are going to be doing reaction videos on this channel uh we're going to be doing mostly reaction videos to paranormal stuff so nukes top five mind ctv twin paranormal paranormies that sort of thing but we're also not going to limit ourselves to just the paranormal stuff we're going to do some music uh mostly rap because that's what i'm into and uh maybe some funny videos as well so if you like reaction videos please stick around um i be, it'll be a pleasure just to to keep you guys entertained and put a smile on your faces that's what i'm here to do i'm here to watch reaction uh watch f uh freaky deaky videos and put smiles on people's faces this is why i started the channel but today what we're going to watch is nukes top five uh and it's going to be top scary ghost videos to cry yourself to sleep so let's see if we'll actually be doing that today let's just get straight into it and let's let's do this really come on Five ghosts caught on camera, turning the tables. Paranormal investigators Jordan and Johnny from the YouTube channel Paranormies were contacted about an old abandoned farmhouse that's said to be extremely haunted. Over the last 70 years, the farmhouse in Steinbach, Canada has been passed from owner to owner under very mysterious circumstances. In fact, it is said that no one has ever lived in the house for more than two or three years. Rumors began to circulate that the reason that so many people moved from the house was because it was extremely haunted by a demonic presence. New owners claimed to hear unexplained voices and their children woke up screaming claiming to see the terrifying apparition of what they called quote, a bad man. And the haunting is not just inside the home. Strange dark can you actually imagine what it will be like to live in a haunted home? Especially with your kids, you know? It'd just be freaking terrible. Like, sharing your home with an invisible invader. Oh, I don't know how people do it, especially for years. I know people's finances and they can't move, but... Wow, it'd just be a bloody nightmare. Especially if it follows you. If it's not attached to the home, it's attached to you. Ugh. Anyway, let's go. Dark on. figures have been seen in the property's barn. The couple who reached out to the Paranormies team say that they've seen someone staring at them from outside the window on the second floor, which is about 10 to 12 feet off the ground. Eventually, no one wanted to buy this supposedly cursed house, no matter how low the price. The farmhouse has now been abandoned for years. Paranormies team member Jordan sits down in the home's bathroom to do a sensory deprivation session. So while team member Johnny asks questions, Jordan will be blindfolded with headphones blocking out all other sound, except what comes through their spirit box. What happens next shocks them both. We're doing a sensory deprivation here. We got this camera and this camera. We heard some noises coming from this area while we were kind of just setting up the cameras and it just sounded like he was trying to draw us into this area so we wanted to do a sensory deprivation here but we're going to be doing it a little bit differently um jordan's going to be in here uh and he's going to be calling it out and i'm going to be wandering around the house so we can kind of just split up and see what we can hear if you're the one who Stand. scared that couple off can you make a noise for us eat, eat me too or give jordan some answers Go on, Jordan. Oh, shit. Johnny. Did you hear that? What was that? I heard something. It was this light bulb, dude. A light bulb. Look. Oh, my God. That wasn't already there? No. Not long after Johnny asked for the spirit to make a sound for them, a light bulb mysteriously falls to the floor right outside the bathroom where Jordan is sitting. When slowed down, you can actually see their static camera capture the moment the light bulb falls to the floor. Now, this could just be a very strange coincidence. Very strange coincidence, but has that shit ever happened to you? 
in my experience, when a light bulb is screwed in, they be done screwed in. Never has one fallen to the ground by itself. Let's carry on though. But what happens next is a lot harder to explain. Yes, go. While setting up more static cameras, things take a terrifying turn. Okay, yeah, so I kind of want to set up a camera in that corner there, and I want to set up a camera either in this corner or... Stop, stop, stop. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, oh, hell. Dude, what was that? I'm running. I'm gone. What? See you later. Never again going back in that that house, that bar, Jordan. whatever it is. Jordan, what? Are you okay? Are I you swear okay? I heard. I swear I heard footsteps. Run down the stairs, and then the table did some next craziness. I'm not on that. I'm not on it. Where should we go, dude? I want to get out of here for a minute, dude. A heavy table takes a hard flip over all on its own, and the two investigators are understandably a bit freaked out. But there was something else that happened during this creepy incident. Something you might not have even noticed. There's a lot that was going on. Of course this will happen through my first YouTube video. During the table um, incident that I think was missed, and for me personally, one of the scariest things, aside from the table being flipped, was hearing the footsteps coming down the Jeez. stairs. Stop, stop, stop. Mm. Mm. Something seems to actually run down the wooden stairs and a split second later, the table is flipped over violently. Jordan and Johnny take a break before continuing their investigation. Then they head to the farm's barn. The two guys question whether the Necrophonic Spirit Box app they're using is actually working. And they get a very unexpected answer. Is Necrophonic real? So it sounds like some... What was that? That was poltergeist activity. That's what that was. Did you throw a box? You say yes, you threw the box. Yeah. So it sounded like you said. See this box. Whoa. Whoa! What was that? What appears to be a can and a box are thrown across the barn. The Paranormies guys quickly run over to the back of the barn to investigate, but there's no one there. The guys have no idea what could have suddenly launched these objects into the air. Soon after, Jordan and Johnny call it a night and end their investigation. But after uploading their video to YouTube, their viewers were shocked to see something that the Paranormies actually missed while exploring the abandoned farm. Take a very close look. This place, all the glasses like, shattered and stuff. So it's got to be that window. It'd be that window. And barn. I'm trying to lie back there. here. Yo, Johnny. What? Yeah, there's a barn back there. Oh, I can't really see it on my camera. Did you see it? <laughs> what looks like a dark hand can be seen reaching out from the second floor window. This is the same window where the couple claimed that they saw someone looking in at them. So could this be the demonic entity Why that locals the claim haunt the, the abandoned pool? farmhouse? Did Jordan and Johnny capture evidence of the paranormal activity that has driven past owners away? Did they capture evidence? Hey, 
see in only a couple of years. Let me know what you think. I think they bloody caught some evidence there. What do you think? Bloody hell, I know everything could be faked. But I know paranormies watching a couple of their videos, they seem legit. You know what I mean? They, they seem legit. You can watch this full two-part series and many more scary investigations over on the YouTube channel, Paranormies. Someone or something. Paranormal investigators Tarek, Merrick, and Rimsey from the YouTube channel Paranoiacs travel to a remote, abandoned house in the middle of nowhere in Austria. The structure, surrounded by nothing but snow, looks like something straight out of a horror movie. In the dead of night, the three friends brace the icy cold weather to explore the creepy building. They quickly realize that they might not be alone. <laughs> <laughs> Start the EMF. Not going to see if there are any, any like homeless people there or what. Start the EMF. I'm hot. The paranoiac team hears strange sounds, almost like footsteps coming from the second floor. And soon after, a heavy door falls over on its own. They question what they might be dealing with. Something paranormal? Not gonna lie, that made me jump. Or someone up to no good. The three explorers hear more strange sounds coming from upstairs, and they cautiously approach the staircase to check it out. It did not go well. I don't know if you see it as well, but there's like some video glitches on the like like some lions going across there and there. It's weird. You got a chickens. I mean, it's not. Where did they go? Crushed. They didn't get crushed. They didn't get crushed. As they are debating whether to go upstairs, the decision is made for them as a heavy bed made of straw is thrown down the staircase, blocking their path. Can you ever imagine sleeping on a bed made out of straw? Man, I'll wake up with so many red dots all over my body and itchy as well. I couldn't do it. The Paranoiax team decides that's quite enough of all that and they just leave the creepy abandoned structure. But once back outside in the freezing snow, they take one last look back at the building. Benim ışık yine gitti. Abi ses. Ne oldu lan? Ben tövbe ara. Şık mı var orada? Az yukarıda da var. Ha şu Abi bir şey var orada. Ne oluyor lan? Abi bak siyah bir şey var. Görüyor mu şunu? Yürü yürü. Bu işin şakası yok. İçeride hepten cin düğünü var. A strange shadow can be seen from one of the upstairs windows. The investigators believe the entity to possibly be a djinn, but what do you think? Were the investigators dealing with a dark presence? Is it a homeless squatter who was simply defending his territory? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You, decide. you can watch this full video and many more creepy- What do you think? Got my suspicions on that one, but at the same time, it seems- Holy shit! Oh, 
Oh. Oh my god. My cat was just playing with the blanket thing here. Oh my god, my heart's beating my chest. Oh. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm a bit jumpy. <laughs> the explorations over on the YouTube channel, Paranoiacs. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Ghosts of Petworth yeah, Chapel. Out, yeah. Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations travel to the abandoned Petworth Chapel in a small village in Sussex, England. In World War II, a German air raid hit a nearby boys' school, and 28 children tragically lost their lives. They were laid to rest in the chapel cemetery. Cut to present day. Locals and visitors to Petworth Chapel say that they have seen and heard the apparitions of children playing in the cemetery. And there is even said to be another ghost haunting the chapel, as many believe that the spirit of the cemetery's loyal longtime groundskeeper still haunts the property. So as Ghost Tech begins their paranormal investigation late one night, Team member Phil experiences something that he just can't explain. I'll swap you over with that. Someone just pulled my jacket. No. Yeah. I wonder why you moved a bit. I want to see that in slow. I don't want to see the jacket get pulled as well. Otherwise, quick then. Phil says he feels something tug at his jacket. Now, chilling as that might be, unfortunately, the static camera doesn't capture the creepy event. Mm -hmm. But later into the investigation, when the Ghost Tech team are inside the Petworth Chapel, mm -hmm. Jeff takes a few photos, and what he captures is downright chilling. I like a good photo. Oh. That was strange. That one was all... <coughs> oh, bless me. Blood. Mm. Don't move, Phil. Something's not right. Something is not right. Jeff takes a picture of Phil, and at first, everything seems normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. But then, a dark mass seems to rise right up out of the ground next to Phil, seemingly reaching out to him. So is it possible that Ghost Tech captured one of the spirits still restlessly wandering the cemetery grounds? Did whatever it was that tugged on Phil's jacket follow him into the chapel? You decide. You can watch this full video and many more investigations of tragic and chilling Kinda looks like a Ghostbuster ghost. Chilling hauntings over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. And still, really haunted. I featured the YouTube channel Really Haunted many times before, and for a good reason. Good. YouTuber Lee has uploaded some truly bizarre videos of an ongoing poltergeist haunting that he says is occurring in his home in England. Just chilling. Is that the dog there? It's like, yeah, I know about this guy. Let's let it do its business. Now, if you're a regular watcher of this channel, you know I'm not much of a believer in orbs. I think they're usually bugs or dust. But in this case, if you watch closely, yeah, you can actually that. see some sort of orb appear for a split second on screen near the chair right before it violently flips over and breaks into pieces. And amazingly, check out the doggo on the couch. <laughs> he's not even bothered at all. But maybe living in this house, he's just used to it. But cut to another night, and Lee is fast asleep in bed. And then... This happens. Jesus, how heavy is this ghost?
shit. Why isn't checking this? Oh, I was got off. What time is it waking me up? Oh shit. Boy, you know you have a ghost. Why are you checking your door for? We can hear heavy thumping footsteps on the floor, and then the nightstand suddenly flips over on its own. And then something sets off the downstairs burglar alarm. But when Lee checks, there's no one in the house. Lee says that the paranormal activity in his home has gotten so bad that lately his wife and kids have been sleeping in a camper parked outside the house. See what I mean? You're there with your wife and kids being haunted, like proper haunted poltergeist activity. And you have to sleep in your bed alone because of it. I would have packed my bags already. Uh, he's got balls of steel. I just don't know how you can live with a ghost. I just don't know how you do it. You can watch more of the crazy paranormal activity that Lee has recorded in his house over on his YouTube channel, Really Haunted. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, on TikTok. A bus driver in Argentina claims that whenever he reaches the end of his bus route, which happens to be an old graveyard, that he always experiences strange unexplained occurrences that he believes to be paranormal. So he started recording his experiences each time he reached the graveyard and posting them to TikTok. At first, he just used the TikTok filter reality ripple effect, which allegedly shows ghosts all around you. Detectar las, las ondas de calor y estoy acá en el cementerio. Que ya paré la del cementerio. La concha de su madre, ¿qué fue eso? Que se paré. La puta que te parió. A ver. Es solo la. La concha de la lora. A ver. La puta que te parió. A ver. Eso que no hay nadie. ¿Y eso? ¿Qué onda? ¿Quién sos? ¿Quién sos? Eh, toca el timbre, eh, toca el timbre. Dale, toca el timbre. La puta que te parió, la puta que te Now it was enough to freak him out and also some of his more superstitious Was that the stop button when they pressed the button? Friends. Acá con mi compa. Vení, vení, a ver cómo está el testigo. Mira, guacho. Hay algo parado ahí. El colectivo de los fantasmas. Mira. A ver, amigo. No, no, vení acá, eh. eh. <laughs> But after he had recorded using the app for a couple of weeks, he says that he had a much more serious encounter when the bus was stopped at the graveyard. An experience that chilled him to his core. La quinta parte, vamos a ver si hoy captamos algo. La puta que le parió, que fue eso? Parecieron como que me cerraron una ventana. La puta madre! La puta madre, no grabo nunca más acá, eh? Uh, bus driver, me, me están abriendo la puerta. Lo, lo vieron, eh. Quedó grabado. Quedó grabado. La concha de su madre. La concha de su madre. Me están abriendo. ¡Ay! ¡La puta que te parió! Yo me voy a la mierda. ¡Ah! La concha de su madre. No, no, no. La puta que te parió. La puta que te parió. The Argentinian bus driver now seems to have stopped his late night graveyard bus recordings completely. He hasn't recorded any ghost encounters since this last video. TikTok user Dadsass says that she and her sister have been experiencing some strange paranormal phenomena in their home. One night when her sister is sleeping, 
their CCTV camera captures something truly bizarre. So we've been home from the hospital for a while because our kids have RSV. And uh, thank God I have cameras because my sister was sleeping and we caught this f***ing bull****. Get back to it. The family says that they have no pets in the house that could have pulled off the blanket. So I'm not sure what caused this. So uh, let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching Instagram here, Twitter there, and TikTok, I guess so. I'll see you next week. If you know about it, like and subscribe with Nuke. And once you're doing that, or before you do that, please give this a like, please give this a subscribe. Hopefully you're one of the first subscribers to my first YouTube video. Uh, I'll appreciate you and appreciate life. I uh, wish you well and peace out.